Hey guys and welcome to what's probably going to be the first in a series of quickies videos. Um, the main purpose of these videos will be basically to show you um, just how quick and easy you can get finding domains and things of that nature. Okay, so th this is all come about by um, some people emailing saying that they've been struggling to get domains or that they put in a whole bunch of keywords like, you know, 250 keywords and then they're running the tool and not getting any domains out or they're getting maybe 100, 200 domains. It's been running for hours and they're wondering why it's not um, working for them. So I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to show you my feet, uh, my settings and how I use uh, Domain Hunter Gatherer to get uh, domains in a specific niche. In other videos I'll cover how to get domains from websites and things like that but this video is going to be a quick one to see or to show you how to get them from your keywords. Okay, so my basic setup, this is on a domestic internet connection. I, because I'm using Domain Hunter Gatherer Pro, I can use the, the DOM Detailer API without any setup. Um, so that will check my Majestic stats, my Moz stats for me whenever it finds a domain. I'm gonna use the Shared Count API for um, checking social stats and things like that. Don't need a Moz API because I'm using Domain Hunter Gatherer Pro. Don't need Majestic API because I'm using Domain Hunter Gatherer Pro. Um, Ahrefs, to be honest, I don't use. Um, I don't see the point in it personally. I know other people do, but I don't, so I don't use that. Um, proxies wise, all you need to do is check, use primary proxies, and then check the different uses for them, and enter your proxies in here one by line. Um, and that's all you need to do for that. In the advanced settings, I'll leave this pretty much default. There's no need to touch anything as far as I'm concerned. So, so long as your internet connection isn't dropping out or doing anything funky like that, you will get results with um, the basic settings and some proxies. Okay, shared account, uh, shared count account is free, so you can get that um, for further checking of the domains. So, here's here are the quickie starts. If I am finding uh, domains in the the niche related to self builds. Okay, it's uh, something that is close to me right now. It's something that I've been doing recently. So I'm going to type in self build. I'm not going to go to a keyword finder and find a hundred different keywords and put those in. I'm going to put in one to maybe ten at a push. You can put in more, but don't expect a huge amount more because ultimately it's going to be finding a lot of the same domains over and over if you do that. So you're going to waste a lot of time in your searching. So simply put in a few relatively vague keywords or just one very vague keyword. So I'm looking in self-build niche, so I'm going to put self-build. Crawl level, I'm going to leave it as one because then I know that the uh, domains that are being found are being linked to from other websites that are ranking for that keyword. Okay, that's very important. So we know that every domain has a link from a page that is ranking for that keyword. Okay, then all I need to do, hit search and Domain Hunter Gatherer will do everything for me. Okay, I can literally go off, make a cup of tea, come back, go for a walk, do whatever I want. It's going to take, um, with the basic settings on a, you know, usual normal home internet connection, it's probably going to take about half an hour for this process. Um, you may find that sometimes it will take quarter of an hour, other times it might take three quarters of an hour, or maybe even an hour if there's a hell of a lot of results, or if there's a lot of domains on those pages. But you'd usually see that it will take about half an hour. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start skipping forward. Um, once it's finished the searching, um, you'll see that it will um, start then checking the domains that it has found in the search results. If you get any domains from these, you know they are a um, indexed in Google or Yahoo, but they are also uh, ranking for that keyword. So those domains will be found first. And then once it's checked all of those domains, all of the um, domains that weren't available will be crawled and any domains that are linked to from those pages that are available will be checked for their Moz and Majestic stats, their page rank and whether they are indexed in Google and Yahoo. Okay, so it's going to go through and you'll see 
at the end there should be normal keywords will get somewhere in the region of 100 to 400 domains uh, really high performing uh, search keywords you'll find maybe in the region of a thousand or more domains okay so when this is finished I'll come back and we'll have a look at what we've got So now we see the searching has finished. It's got 810 domains listed, and this is for one keyword. Okay, I think where quite a lot of people sort of stumble is they go to a keyword searching tool and then they'll put in their, um, their main keyword that they want to be ranking for. They'll get a list of 100 or a couple hundred different keywords and they'll put it in thinking that that's going to yield them thousands of domains when really what you need is some really quite vague niche keywords so you don't want to be putting you know self builds on the east coast Lincolnshire in 2015 just put in self build or um, building a house or you know builders things like that things that are going to be getting you a lot of results so that domain hunter gatherer can then go and find those uh, domains for you now we've got 810 domains so you're going to wonder what's the quality of them and straight away you can see some of the the more brandable domains are right at the top we've got selfbuilddreams.co.uk selfbuilds2000.co.uk and i've not sorted these domains at all but say for example you're only looking for um, high domain authority domains so i'm going to go down in the filter tab i'm going to filter for domain authority and say uh, 30 we'll just go for the high domain authority and there we go we've got straight away six domains with the high domain authority if you are more interested in trust flow um, say so put 20 for trust flow you got 29 with a trust flow above 20 and you can see where is it here we are if we sort by trust flow we've even got some up to 43 now uh, you can also sort by domain authority so they've still got at least 20 um, majestic sorry 20 trust flow but some have higher than 30 um, domain authority as well if you are more interested in which ones are indexed in Google you can see there I mean you can filter for this but it's obviously easy just to click the Google uh, Google index header so we see straight away things are very easy very quick it doesn't matter um, really what domains you put in so long as you keep them relatively short you don't need to stick in really high crawl levels just leave it as one and you will find them it's you know really 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 simple you load the program up you put a keyword in you hit search you're done